Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After it kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself? Is that what you wanted? Control? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself? Is that what you wanted? Control? Stanley. <laughs> Stanley. <laughs> I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were meant to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do better than that. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you have. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized that he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Oh, let's make it say, um, two minutes. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Now, this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? I've run this story many times, and I don't always set you free. Sometimes you just sit there, day after day after day, doing your job forever, and then dying alone. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly, and then dying alone. You get it now? Oh, I'm enjoying this. Tell you what. I'll throw some extra time on the clock just because I'm having so much fun. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? That timer is not a catalyst to keep things moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. 30 seconds, Stanley. 30 seconds, until a boom, and then nothing. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom, and then nothing. No ending to this story, just you dying. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. I'll be here to watch every second of your inevitable life from the time we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever after. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever after.